Well, sometimes a customer has an idea of what they already need or they're making some packaging somewhere else or they already have a drawing and we can certainly uh, take their, their drawing or their concept and, and recreate it if that's what they need. In terms of, of new packaging or custom packaging development, there are a number of ways that we, we might work with them. In terms of custom packaging development with, with our customers, we first meet with them to, to better understand their needs and what their um, product is and, and also how they're shipping it. So uh, typically that will be somebody on the sales side or, you know, we don't really do sales, frankly. We do uh, more like uh, customer relationship management. So it might be me or it might be one of our relationship managers who would meet with the customer and typically, uh, sometimes on their own, but typically with one of our design engineers. And they are engineers, they're, they're trained as engineers, but also know packaging very well. And so we'd ascertain what their needs are, um, you know, how they're going to, be uh, shipping their product, what any special requirements may be in terms of shock protection or vibration protection, uh, et cetera. And then from there, uh, once we understand their needs, we'll create a concept that uh, we'll review with them. And that will sometimes, if they have an engineering staff, our engineers can work with them directly to, uh, to with their engineers, sharing solid models and, and CAD models to make sure that their product is actually going to fit within our concept. Once we provide them a concept, uh, we may have a rough order of magnitude price with that, uh, make sure we understand their needs and we agree on that, and then we'll turn that concept into generally a first article. So, uh, And this isn't the most complex types of, of packaging. Some of it's very straightforward and they just say, great, you know, whatever you want to do, go with it, we trust you, and, and that's great. But other times, we'll make a first article or a prototype, and from there, work with the customer to do a test fit, make sure it works. Uh, we may tweak it a little bit, and in many cases, we'll want to test it. So if it's a customer that has a very sensitive product that they're shipping quite often and the packaging is very important to that, we will test both the product bare and then also the product in the packaging at a certified testing laboratory, make sure that the packaging works as designed and as required. And then from there, we'll go into production. So once it goes into production, or actually just before it goes into production, our engineers will, will make a CAD drawing, we'll have drawings, we'll have uh, production documents for the plant, uh, we'll have our, our cost estimation sheets and pricing and all those kinds of things. And those then get uh, first saved on our engineering uh, workstation server, or our, it gets saved on our engineering server. And then from there we share that with, the, it goes to customer service and it becomes a product spec. So the product specification is then also saved in a centralized database that we can use for production every time. Uh, our customer service representatives then will take the orders from the customer. Typically, there's a purchase order associated with that. You know, assuming the customer's set up uh, in the system, then we you know, take care of that. It's a re repeat type business, or we would set up the customer and there would have to be all the credit uh, uh, approval and, and things like that. The customer's set up, they place an order, we put in the order, and a work order goes into the plant. So a work order goes to the plant from customer service with all of the specifications for the product. Uh, the due date, et cetera, and the plant then, and we're all in one location, so we're, it sounds like maybe we're a big organization and this is going over a long distance, but we're tightly integrated. Goes to the plant, plant schedules production, and the different pieces of the, the product are begun to be, be formed. So uh, all the wood, lumber is, all the wood or lumber is cut, all the plywood is cut, all the foam is cut, all the hardware and specialty parts, whether they be metal for the ramp or ramp tips or specialty uh, latches or hinges or whatever will be, will be ordered or uh, pulled from stock. And then as production is happening, those will be kitted all together. Production will be uh, done in two stages essentially. We have kind of two focus factories, if you will. So first, parts will be made. So on a, on a crate or a or case for that matter, the, the panels and the bases may be made separately. All the foam is cut up. Uh, fixtures or jigs will be made as required to ensure um, dimensional tolerances. And then they're assembled uh, in the next focus factory, if you will, which is our assembly factory, uh, virtual, let's say, and it's put together. Uh, they are inspected for quality. They are uh, stenciled or, or labeled as appropriate. And one final quality inspection, and then they're, they're loaded on our trucks for, for shipping to the customer.